Today we're going to learn how to draw a Neji. Hello guys, welcome to Cut to Draw. My name is Manolo and I'm back with another tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to draw Neji. This is actually a very, very requested tutorial. Alright, you guys really wanted me to make a Neji tutorial, so pretty much today, I am going to be teaching you how to draw Neji from Naruto. And as you can see here, what we did is we drew a box, okay, to pretty much help us structure the drawing. Alright, the top and the bottom lines, they are 16 centimeters. Alright, um, from left to right, and the left and the right lines, they are 12 centimeters from top to bottom. For those of you who want to know the measurement, that is pretty much it. So pretty much, let's just get right into the tutorial. Alright, so pretty much, let's just get right into the tutorial here. What I'm going to do now is... Um, pretty much start like I always do. I'm gonna try to do the whole thing in real time because uh, personally I don't think there's like a, a lot of things to like um, that are very difficult so I just thought that you know if I do the whole thing in real time uh, like I don't need to just m make it time lapse because I, I feel that the drawing is not so difficult alright so pretty much yeah what I'm doing here is uh, what I always do is um, I draw a circle okay draw a line to divide the face and what I'm doing here is pretty much uh, making um, the shape of the face all right and what would what we should do now is pretty much draw a line here to um, place the eyes all right here another one here to place the nose and another one here to place the mouth all right so um, yeah as you can see here what we did is we drew the basic uh, structure of the face here what I should probably do here is make uh, a line here all right to to help us indicate the you know the strands of hair that he has on the side of his face so yeah I'm just gonna draw like uh, a line here so that we you know we understand where the hair is alright and yeah we're gonna draw the strands later okay I think that um, personally I think that this um, strands here um, are important so that's why I pretty much drew that so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start um, drawing the face and I'm gonna start off drawing the eyebrows because I feel that you know once we draw the eyebrows I think everything else flows so uh, like the the eyes and everything so yeah as you can see here what we did is we drew the eyebrows here that are going up and what we're gonna do here is we are gonna draw the eyes and the eyes are pretty much um, you know it's first you're gonna draw a line here like this you're gonna draw a line that is going up just like that and then a line that is going down like that okay and that is how pretty much the upper eyelashes is and you know there's gonna be a bottom eyelashes as well just draw a line like this and then another curvy line that is going up like that okay and that is pretty much how to you know how the shape of the eye is and yeah um, the iris is just gonna be you know try to draw two curvy lines here like this all right just like that the eyeball just like that and we're gonna draw the pupil here and it's just two curvy lengths like two brackets in like in the middle just like that all right and you know there's gonna be some tiny lines here you know around the iris if you want to indicate that just like that okay so yeah we are done with this eye and you know we're gonna try to draw the same thing on the other one here you know draw a pointy eyebrow that is going straight up just like this and it's going in like this and you know try to uh, measure you know the distance between the eyes you know the, like the one eye rule that I used to mention you know like there should be a space of like a full eye uh, before drawing the other one okay so you know just to help you have you know a clear uh, approach towards you know just pretty much placing the eyes okay so yeah as you can see here we pretty much did almost the same thing here uh, but except you know the this one right here is a little bit compressed you, you might not notice it very much All right, but it is a little bit because you know he's facing to this like to this side right here So you, you're gonna notice it a very very little okay uh, and Yeah, the bottom is pretty much the same like this and the iris is just gonna be as we did here just to uh, semi circle like two curvy lines just like that and the you know the inner parts is just the same thing two brackets like that and if you want to just draw some dots you know there like that okay and that is pretty much it for the you know the the eyes and you know we're also what we're gonna do here is we're gonna draw um, 
the folds here he's gonna have some folds here because you know he's kind of squirting his eyes a little bit just like that and yeah we're gonna draw other ones here like this just like so okay so yeah we are done with this part what we're gonna do now is we're gonna draw the uh, the nose and the nose is pretty much just two two curvy lines like this okay just to indicate the nostrils and you know there's gonna be a shade casted at the bottom here just like that okay and yeah and for the mouth the mouth is just gonna be almost like a straight line not not really but you know just try to there's gonna be like a, a smirk kind of a look here um, at the side here all right so you know you want to kind of indicate that and there's gonna be another one here in this like in this side right here and we're gonna draw you know this kind of smirk kind of look okay that he has okay and yeah that is pretty much it for the the main features okay I don't think it was so complicated and yeah that is pretty much it for that what we should also do is maybe draw the veins okay now this depends on you but you know if you want to you can indicate the veins all right at the side of his eyes just like this all right just like that you know and you can add as many veins as you want and we're gonna do the same thing on this other side here like this all right that are you know that are going like they're pointing straight to his uh to his eyes just like that all right so yeah we are pretty much done i think i should uh redo this a little bit here just like that okay so we are done with that what we should do now is we should uh draw the the band that he has in the in his forehead here all right just like that okay it's gonna be a curvy line like this and right after that what we're gonna do is draw another curvy line to indicate the 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 iron plate okay just like that and yeah we're gonna do the same thing on the on the top side here a dry curvy line here okay right when it's about here you know try to cut it off because you know it, it is a plate and you know it's 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 not going right you know around his head so it is gonna cut off right about here so you're just gonna draw like a curvy line that is going down just like this okay and here you pretty much gonna do the same thing like that and once you're done with that you're just gonna draw another curvy line on top to indicate the the band like so so yeah we are pretty much done with uh, indicating the band and what we should do also is draw the you know indicate some bolts here all right just like that and what we're gonna do um, is uh, draw the the lift village symbol and I think this this is a uh, pretty easy okay the first thing you're gonna do is just draw a line here and then just draw uh, you know a circular symbol just like that and then draw some kind of a triangle here like that all right and uh, you know on, on top of the plate you know just to indicate the kind of the the top side of the plate we're just gonna draw some lines here okay a little bit to the bottom part of the of the plate to indicate the, the upper part of the plate okay of the plate just like that all right so yeah we are done with that uh, what we should do now is draw the the hair all right so the hair is just gonna be it's gonna be really long okay it's gonna be almost to the to the bottom part I'm not gonna reach this line right here so you know it's something that you wanna uh, keep in mind all right you know that's pretty much why we drew the the box in the first place so you know you you understand the relation uh, of, of the joint you know to the to the box so the it, it can pretty much help you all right so yeah as you can see here what we did is we, I think this uh, this one should be a little bit shorter the middle one should probably be the longest one so I'm gonna shorten this one here and the middle one should be the longest one all right just like that and on this side right here we're just gonna draw another one like this and you know it's just gonna go straight up just gonna screw straight up just like that all right yeah so that's pretty much it for this one what we're gonna do now is we're gonna draw the other one here and you know try to 
do the, the same thing here. You just drag one strand there, and the middle one is gonna be the longest one here, like this. All right, and then draw another one here. You know, you can vary it a little bit. You don't have to draw it exactly like this one right here. All right, you can just vary it a little bit. And yeah, what we're gonna just go, just go straight up when until you know this point right here we're just gonna finish just line right here just like that and you know we're not going to be able to see his ear so that is something that we don't need to draw all right so yeah what we should do now is draw the like his, the rest of his hair and you know the hair is pretty much you know he has long hair so he's gonna go like through his back so what you're gonna do here just draw like a curvy line here like this all right and then pretty much just go to the tops and just just draw a curvy line that is going straight to this line right here okay the 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 head is gonna be a little bit cut off all right just like this like so and then you know you can just continue on the other side but it really does depend because you know I, I don't expect you to draw the drawing exactly the way that I'm drawing it but you know you, do, you don't have to like I don't expect you to draw the same drawing so you know the drawing might not cut off might not be cut off for you you can just pretty much just draw the complete uh, head okay and yeah you just you're just gonna draw you're just gonna continue the line here and then just draw a curvy line just like that all right like that and yeah that is pretty much it for the hair okay what we should do now is um, draw this you know the next side here just draw a curvy line here that is going down like that all right and then draw another one that is going straight like through through the hair just like that all right and yeah, after that, what we're gonna do is indicate the neck. All right, just like that. Draw two lines like that, and then we're gonna draw the the bone here, just like so. All right, so that is pretty much it for that. Uh, what we should do now is draw the shoulders. I think we're pretty much done with the main things. I think now is uh, the rest of the drawing is just gonna be like really easy, to be honest. So yeah, just to indicate the shoulders, what we're gonna do is just draw. A curvy line that is going down just like that and for this one what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a line that is going like this like a curvy line like that and then it's gonna go like down like that okay so yeah that is pretty much it for that what we should do also is to indicate you know the the line here of the shirt all right and it's just gonna go straight to hold on I think it should be a little bit more to the to the right so that is what I'm gonna do right now it should be right, right about here all right and it's gonna go to the bottom part okay and there's gonna be some folds here all right just we're just gonna indicate that just like that and then another fold right on this side right here and yeah that is pretty much it for the drawing i don't think there's anything else maybe i should uh, i think there's this thing here like this but i think that is pretty much it okay i don't think there's anything else to draw so what i'm gonna do now is pretty much ink it okay i'm gonna color it with um with markers all right and then pretty much come back with some final words
Alright guys, so you have my video on how to draw Neji and let me know what you guys think of this tutorial down in the comment section below, okay? And the final result, what do you guys think? Um, uh, I know what you guys might, uh, a lot of you will be asking like what colors did I use, what markers did I use? Uh, for those of you who might want to get these markers, I mean I, I don't 100% recommend it because they are a, a cheap alternative to Copic markers, alright? But you know, they're not the worst markers, so... For those of you who want to get these markers, they are Touch 5 markers, alright? And I know a lot of you might be asking like what colors specifically I used. Alright, I think I can talk about the skin tone because that is pretty much the one that a lot of people ask the most. Alright, the skin tone that I used was uh, Salmon Pink 25, alright? For those of you who want to know the color of the skin. And I used a uh, Pale Blue 77 to pretty much, you know, tone the... the the skin tone a little bit down all right because i thought the the color was a little too bright so i used a pale color to you know go uh on top of it and that is how i got this result all right uh, i'm not gonna mention every single color that i used in this illustration all right but those are the main ones that i know a lot of you might be wondering about okay so yeah let me know what you guys think about this the final result and definitely follow me on instagram guys i always post uh, drawings that I don't usually post here on YouTube so definitely go check that out and yeah let me know your thoughts of this drawing down in the comments below and thank you all for liking commenting sharing and subscribing remember to do what you love never stop drawing and I'll see you guys in the next video